So now we'll look into the student portfolio and profile uh, and then manage some notifications and email forwarding, things like that. Okay, so if you click on your name, uh, notice you are currently probably a faceless person. So you can click on your name and then profile. And if you go into your profile, you can change your picture here. Again, go from my computer, upload a file or click and drag. I'm just gonna make something, I'm gonna make this one my profile picture, save and close. And now you should notice that the image icon changes. So that's who I am now. Um, so that's, that's one thing in your profile you can do. You can also add in some more information about you so that your teacher can see it or that other classmates can see it. Um, but you don't have to, that's not really a requirement. But now let's go to my portfolio. So my portfolio is actually very useful if you're looking to load in things for your teacher that aren't necessarily going into a Dropbox uh, for assignments or for, um, for discussions. So when you click on portfolio, uh, this is going to show you the portfolio for all of the classes that you're in. So if I go into this one, GLD20, now I can click on add to my portfolio. And again, this isn't something that your teacher um, may force you to do, but it's something where you can load in files from wherever you want, just so that you can have quick access to them at a later date within D2L. So I can upload from Office 365 or Google Drive if I've connected my accounts, or I can simply just upload a file. So let's say I upload this file, and this one's just gonna be an image, okay? Then I can go inside there, that's the image, and I can, uh, I can either type in some thoughts that I have about it, so maybe it's a reflection piece. Um, this is my diagram. It's not actually my diagram, but um, so that's mine. So and then your teacher can give you feedback on it too if it's something that you, uh, that you want feedback on. So that's, uh, that's one piece in there. I can also add in, let's say, a Word document. So I'm just gonna tap to upload, go to desktop again and I will load in this Word document. Okay, you can see it's just added in alongside. When I click on it, I can then download it and I can again give some more um, just thoughts that I want my teacher to see. So here's my doc, All right, click add. And then basically that's, uh, that's all the portfolio is. It's something where you can, uh, you can add to 